my name is Katia and today on Internet Style we're going to be taking inspiration from the soft boy aesthetic. Since I've already done videos on e-girls and e-boys, I thought it was only fair to follow up my soft girl video with a soft boy style guide as well. So what exactly is a soft boy? Well, Urban Dictionary defines the term as a feminine boy with gentle characteristics similar to a flower boy. However, all my outfits are unisex because the best thing about internet aesthetics is that anybody can take inspiration from them. The clothing items we see the most often in the soft boy aesthetic include cozy sweaters, specifically vintage crewnecks from sportswear brands such as Nike and Adidas, flannels, button-downs, button-ups, polo shirts, and generally any style of collared shirt, high-waisted straight leg styles of denim such as the mom jean or the dad jean, and windbreakers. A motif that we see in all these clothing items is that they have long sleeves. The most common patterns in soft boy clothing include stripes and angels, and the most seen materials are corduroy and light wash denim. The go-to soft boy shoes are Converse, Vans Old School, and Doc Martens, but generally any white sneaker such as the Air Force One and the Fila Disruptor also make appearances. As for accessories, soft boys gravitate towards decorative glasses, specifically those that are clear and round in shape, dad caps, socks with different funky prints, and bags such as the Kinkin backpack or an artsy tote bag. I try to take all this information and boil it down into three trendy outfits, so let's go through them. The first outfit features this long sleeve rainbow button up striped shirt. I think it embodies the soft boy aesthetic very well because of the striped pattern and the collar. The only way the shirt could be softer is if it was in pastel colors. I paired it with some light wash mom jeans and I try to match all the accessories to the colors in the shirt. So I went with this pastel pink dad cap and these pink and yellow banana print socks. I wore my white Air Force ones, but you could easily switch those out for any Converse or Van sneaker style. is based around this color block corduroy jacket. Underneath it, I wore this lavender button-down shirt because it matches the colors in the jacket. As we know, corduroy is one of the soft boy's most favorite materials, so I also went with these brown corduroy high-waisted pants. But these could be switched out with some brown or black slacks as long as they're high-waisted and or cuffed. To tie in the colors of the outfit even more, I picked these tiny lavender glasses and some black Doc Martens with platforms for stomping on gender roles. I picked this pink champion oversized sweater and I made sure the sleeves and collar of the baby blue button down I wore underneath were peeking out. You can switch out the champion sweater for a crew neck in the color of your choice. I also wore some light wash wide leg jeans and I wore the same sock and sneaker combo from the first outfit. However, some old school vans and a different pattern of socks could definitely work as long as it matches the colors of the top half of the outfit. For accessories, I went with this white beanie to stay cozy and this plain white tote bag because I feel like this very simple addition makes the outfit so much more aesthetically pleasing. soft boy but you don't have any of the specific items I mentioned, you can always just pick any cozy sweater you have and pair it with some high-waisted jeans. Make sure you add accessories such as a backpack or some glasses in matching colors so the outfit is a little more cohesive and aesthetically pleasing. But if you really need to make a purchase to achieve soft boy status, then I do have a Depop where I'm selling some modern and vintage clothing, including this shirt, so if you're interested, I'll link that in the description. If you want to see how to dress like a soft girl, I do have a video on that so I'll link that in the cards and in the description along with the rest of my internet style playlist where I have style guides on the e-girl and e-boy aesthetics as well. Let me know in the comments what aesthetic you think I should do a video on next, but make sure you like this video, click that subscribe button, and that notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!